okay what I have here is a uh, Google trend so you can see Google trend uh, over here point but when you run into Google trend you will actually pick up your location and you will see it in the uh, URL as well as the uh, area over here okay now of course they, you can actually change this by where you are or where which are the areas that uh, you want to look at so let's say if you look at Singapore you will notice that the geo actually changed to Singapore all right now why do we want to look into Google trend is because we want to know what actually is uh, trending all right so these are all the things that are being highly searched okay in Singapore itself okay and the idea behind this is you become a part of your SEO okay so if you have a blog you have a website you have well I don't know all right uh, you might want to try and capitalize on uh, some of those uh, articles related to this or their keywords okay but there is another areas you can actually look at is uh, the global right, of what you want to actually search for instance let's say if I were to do a search on okay something strange let's say myself I don't think a lot of people will search me anyway so let's say I hit enter here okay there is uh, no data for the past uh, 12 months so let's change the parameter let's say worldwide for the from 2004 onward okay still no data right, let's change the term then okay so let's say okay let's say the term okay so I search a new term and let me scroll down okay so now there is some data over here okay uh, of course there was nothing here because uh, cars did not exist so early but after that you will see some uh, data appearing or some search appearing all right uh, okay so this is quite interesting for you to work with all right Okay, so related topic down here, all right, learning, e-learning, okay, and so forth. Of course, not every one of them are uh, related, okay. And there's another thing that you can do, let me go to this graph over here, is uh, I'm not going to do the download, but I'm going to look into the code. All right, just let it run a short moment okay here it is okay now this is the graph all right this is actually uh, the graph itself okay and you can see that actually there's a script over here all right there's actually a script over here that you can work with but unfortunately this piece of data is static so it will not update okay the reason is because I have too large a range so let's say if I reduce the range to only five years okay this is only five years okay so from here to here five years and if I look at the code okay, just let it generate the graph okay here's the graph all right this one is different you see now the data is live all right? and you will keep on updating okay and make sure that you have this one check which means the data will keep updating then what you can do is you can actually just right click and copy this whole set of code which is a script all right it's actually a script you can see it's a javascript 
and you can embed this code try and embed this code into your website or whichever uh, site that you are interested in okay then you don't have to run this over and over again because it will just keep on updating onto your website by itself so, so, so this will be a simple tool that you can use for your SEO right which is another service that you can actually provide uh, from anywhere